So today I'm sharing with you a simple way to transcribe audio. Now I'm testing this out with one of my shows from Every Classroom Matters. So I've already uploaded the mp3 file to otranscribe.com and they've got a free test on it. Now you'll notice here is speed and I've kind of slowed it down. Not so slow that it's annoying but kind of slow so that I can type it. So I'm going to just set it a little slower here. And you can see when I click that it's got, you know, F1 takes you back, F2 takes you forward, and Escape stops it. Now, I've already transcribed just a little bit of this, and you'll notice that it has this thing called a timestamp in it. And if I click the timestamp, it's going to take me to the time in here. Um, see, I've gone to this time, or I've gone to this time. So you can skip and you can re-listen to stuff if somebody else is doing this for you. Okay, so... I am now at 240. I had gone back here. I'm now at 240. And you can see that I've got some underlines here. This is coming from my Grammarly plugin to kind of check the spelling. So I can always fix those. But now I'm going to play. So I'm going to hit escape. Would, would carry with them on a day to day basis. So, what are physical education teachers doing with their iPad? Because you know, many schools leave PE teachers out of technology integration. So I, you've, you can see what I just did, and obviously I sound a lot slower than I do in real life. If you listen to the show, you'll know that. But I've just gone in and I'm typing it. Now, let's say I wanted to go ahead and insert a timestamp for, for where I am now. Um, I'm just going to press uh, Control or actually Command-J on my Mac. On a PC, it's Control-J to insert the timestamp. And I usually go for a little bit longer, but I'm just trying to demonstrate this for you as well out of technology integration. Now you'll notice that it backs it up just a little bit when you hit escape, which is kind of cool for a transcription. Out of technology integration. Something that I had the, the opportunity to be able to speak about it, um, a few conferences this year all around the world. And I so when I'm done, um, I will be able to export this. You can see the export button over here. I can hit export and I can take it markdown plain text or I can send it to Google Drive which is what I'm going to do to add the hyperlinks and all that sort of thing that I want to do because I am testing transcriptions and this is just kind of a cool way to do it.